our thoughts are very important. And unless we give attention to our thoughts, our lives are going to be miserable. Unless we give attention to how we think, then our feelings, our behavior, and our current life realities are going to be a mess. We need to cut the chain somewhere. You might be wondering, how then do thoughts come about? How then do the way we interpret situation come about? Well, the answer is our core beliefs. Our core beliefs are basically made up of repeated life experiences, lived life experiences. We go through situations in the past. We go through experiences in the past and we start now taking screenshots of those instances and we make those screenshots relevant even in the future. Our thoughts are a function of our past and our relived experiences, which all together it makes what we call a core belief. A core belief is what you truly believe in. You believe that situations, people, and things will behave the way you've experienced them in the past. So for you to understand the importance of changing your thoughts, you need first to ask yourself, what is my current core beliefs made up of what is in my core belief basket you need to evaluate what is it that i have experienced in the past that might be making me think the way i do what is it that has happened to me in the past which might be making me react to situations the way i do Unless we take some time to challenge, unless we take some time to evaluate the things and situations and our past lived experiences, we are simply going to take whatever we went through in the past to be relevant in our current situation. That is not true because what happened in the past does not necessarily mean it will happen now. Our thoughts about our lived experiences, our thoughts about our lived background does not necessarily mean that they are currently relevant. Unless we take time to evaluate and assess whether our thoughts are valid from our core beliefs, we are simply going to become victims of our past. We are simply going to be trapped. We are going to be running on programs which are obsolete. We are going to be running on programs which are overtaken by events. There is nothing wrong with learning from the past. There is nothing wrong with acknowledging what we've been through. However, our past is meant to teach us, not for us to dwell in. If we dwell in our past, if we dwell in our lived experiences in the past, it's going to tarnish our future. We are going to assess the current and the future based on our past, which is not always the case. Because if we keep on subjecting our current life's interpretation to situations, to our past experiences, then we will always be behind. We will not be innovative. We will not get out of the comfort zone. We will not be open-minded. We will not be pleasant to be around because with us, it will basically mean that all the negative experiences that you've lived in the past, it's a frame through which you view situations. It's a frame through which you interpret interactions with other people. Therefore, my question is, are you a victim of your core beliefs? Are you trapped in your past that you are now afraid of stepping in the future? Sometimes we look back at our challenging experiences. Sometimes we are sad, which is very natural. It is very normal to be sad. However, we need not dwell in the past negative experiences, but rather we should choose to observe it and learn and identify what are the growth opportunities that I can pick from my past. What is my past teaching me right now? What are the pitfalls that I need to avoid? Not that your past experience will be 100% relived in your current. When you think that your past will always be in your present, that's where now you develop what we call a fixed mindset. Your mind is just glued. Your mind is fixed 
on the past and you are not allowing yourself to grow. You are not allowing yourself to be innovative. You are not allowing yourself to experience the current life situation for you to be innovative of how you imagine your future to be like. Your past has served its purpose. Your past has taught you what you know now. Please liberate it. Let go. Enjoy the current, enjoy the now, and plan the future. Invest your energies on enjoying now and planning how your life should be in future. Your current life is a function of your past. Therefore, unless you do something different now, your future will still be the same. So how do you want your future to be like? Because if you want your future to be different from the current, you need to change your current. But if your current is still stuck with the programs of the core beliefs based on the true lived past experiences, then you will never proceed. You will never progress. You always think that you are the disadvantage. You always think that you are a victim of circumstances. You always think that people are bad. You always think that everything is worse. This is the time to look at your core beliefs. What is it that you believe about yourself, which is not true? What is it that you believe about yourself that is causing you to feel the way you do? Because sometimes you become your own worst enemy. Because of our core beliefs, you will think that you are not good enough. You will think that you are not smart. You will think that you cannot achieve. You will think that you cannot be successful. You will think that life will always be against you. Well, you are wrong. You can change your future by changing the way you think right now. You can change your future by choosing, by making an intentional decision to change the look and the shape of your future. It's entirely up to you. What are you choosing? Are you choosing a good life? Or are you choosing to be ruminating over thinking and wallowing in your unpleasant past? Or are you willing to step up and design a future that you want to have? Well, this is Rachel Negati, and thank you for spending some time with me. Whilst we see that we can change our lives, we can master our lives. Remember, self-mastery, it's about sitting behind your steering wheel, becoming the driver of your life, changing your behavior, changing your thoughts, changing your emotions. No one can do that for you. Self-mastery is about self-leadership. Self-mastery is about self-governance. Only you have got the keys to your future. Please subscribe if you haven't done so, and feel free to share this video with as many people as you, you can, because our objective in this self-mastery channel is to help one person one day at a time. Thank you for watching and see you next time.